space. Nobody can hear you, Zane. Ah! No, I can't hear you, Zane. We're in space. Shit. No space. <laughs> Welcome back. This is our Monday horror series, uh, which we are... Well, we've got two names, we've and, got two names. and we're, we're still kind of uh, a little bit 50-50 between them. One is calling the series Spoop Troop, uh, and the other one is calling the, uh, the series Games That Go Bump in the Night. So, we are starting our second game after finishing Resident Evil 2. Yep. And that game is Alien Isolation. Which, by all accounts... Oh, how hard do we want to do it? It's a medium, because I... Medium? I, I think... This is the recommended ga- way to experience the game on hard. But the issue I have with that is I've never done keyboard and mouse before. You'll learn. <laughs> oh, for Christ. I'm going to have to learn quick, apparently. Yep. Okay. <laughs> By all accounts, this game is terrifying. Have you played it at all? No. Okay. I have not played this game at all. I have done my research, though, and I know the game is set between the first and second movies. Okay. Uh, and we play... Ripley from the movie's daughter. Yeah. Who was... Alice Ripley, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Um, who was... Or, no, Alison Ripley. So, yeah, I right. guess. Um, but she, in the first movie... Final, final report of the commercial... Uh, the daughter was um, quite young. Third officer right. reporting. And then, in the second movie, the they tell the Ripley in the movie that her daughter died of old age Kane. to kind of show Lamar. how much time Ripley's been Parker. in hypersleep. Okay. So this Gray. game happens in between that. Ash. Ash. And Captain Dallas. So that's all the crew from the dead. first this, movie. This is Ripley. Yeah. Or Sigourney Weaver. Sigourney. 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 <laughs> I should reach the frontier. Cigarette Weaver. Hey. I've been watching, um, I was, I spent like last night watching you know, five episodes of the Ripley. Marvel Defenders TV. Sure. Oh yeah. And she she plays the villain. Oh, nice. Weaver. It's very charming. Like whoever does the um, choreography in those shows is amazing. You mean the fight Corey? Yeah, yeah. 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 Whoever fights Corey in those shows. Corey, what a dick. Corey in the ring. <laughs> and we have a cat wandering all over the desk as well. Ripley. It's us, I think. I'm Samuels. I work for the company. He's a robot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He looks like, a, he looks like an android. We think we may have found her, Amanda. Her name's Amanda. There you go. You lied to me, Zane. The commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. That's ridiculous. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to... Uh, uh, he, might, he might be an android, or it might just be like, you know, that bit of that uncanny valley coming through in the characters. He's either an android or very British. <laughs> I mean, look at that hair. He actually looks like an actor from a TV series called Foils. I know what it is. I, well, I mean, he may be like... A natural actor provided like his mo-cap. mocap. Yeah. And like that, because, yeah. He's got a very big nose. We're going to travel out. I mean, it's like his nose and like little noses come out of his nostrils because he's actually alien. The alien? Yeah. yeah. If he is an actor from Foil's War, we'll find out and we'll stick a picture of him up now. Ripley. Yeah. Well, you know, literally, well, yeah. My desk. I read the case. Either that or we just play the games? We don't actually do any work. <laughs> <laughs> Well, maybe you don't do any work. I actually don't do any work. Yeah. If you guys miss me, it's been a while since I've been on the channel. I know. Uh, well, I know I haven't. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. It's because you don't play any scary games without me. <laughs> Basically, this is all my fault. Yep. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. I mean, this game came out in 2000. No, uh, no, 2015 or something like that. It wasn't that long ago. So the graphics are still pretty good for that, though. Yeah. I would have had to think because mocap, if they're, if they're using mocap, which I'm pretty sure that guy looks very familiar. 
And he sounds familiar as well. Yeah. Where are we now? We were sleeping. I love, like, the thing about aliens, like, that 80s future tech. Whoa, are we naked? No. Please sign it. Can't tell if we're naked. Please. Hey, we're not. We can kick the crocs. <laughs> ah, this is the future. <laughs> the future of croc kicking. That looks comfy. But somebody's not doing the job. <laughs> so user signed in. Verlaine has already woken up. Ooh, sumo. Uh, Taylor. Connor. Connor. Ooh, no one. No one's in that one. Samuels, who was the That's guy we were talking android. to before. And us. And Ripley. Welcome, a Ripley. Explore the Torrens. Yep. What's the book? Frank Herman War in Totality. Looks pretty good. Get dressed. <laughs> yep, so we are naked. Or at least in our underwear. I'm pretty sure in our underwear, because when she got up, you saw her underwear. Did you? I did. I just <laughs> like to imagine you did. No, I'm pretty sure I did. Flashback. Uh, well, there's there's your proof about which one of us is right. I, I don't know, because I, I, I'm not currently in the future. Let's have a shower. We're having a shower. So, unless we're having a shower in our underwear, which would be kind of weird. Yeah, you're in space. They ah. do weird stuff in space. Yep. It's been too long. You're going to dry off before... Oh, that can't use that. Samuels has been in there. Yep. Samuels, uh, which one is our locker? Ripley. There we the go. With the green light on it. I <laughs> we're we're gonna get very familiar with these uh, storage lockers later on. You reckon? Yep. Like Outlast. Uh, I've I've seen a little bit of gameplay from from this game. Okay. Um, I I don't really know much about what's going on, <laughs> but. Uh, Lockers are a hiding space, which we shall be using a lot. Oh, here we go. Oh. The payphones for saving the game. Brilliant. Okay. And let me guess, they're going to be like Resident Evil, where they're not there all the time? Yeah. Access. What's this? Man, this Alien is old Link. school for the future. <laughs> so old school. Villain, you're on the lookout navigation of the blah, 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 blah. Just missed you. Yeah. Okay. Go. Thank you. Oh, no, no, not that one. Ah, Q. See, like I said at the start of this game, I've never played keyboard and mouse, and by the amount of buttons and things that he's pushing, I'm getting really worried. There, there, there are no more buttons. Well, I mean, there are more buttons on the keyboard than on the controller. Yes. yes. But they will all be like one to one. Okay, so there's four ones that we use in in total. Everything will be focused on W W S A D is in movement and Q and E will be to do stuff. Okay, cool. Sorry for being click a noob. Right click. Everyone's like, oh my good, doesn't even Yeah, I, I, I hey. don't okay, I'm learning. It's Samuel. Carly. Hello. Hello. Oh, Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as There you go. He yeah, is he's right. an android. Yeah. I was just inspecting Called it. <laughs> What was it about, like, that just made him seem like an android straight away? Yes. M class. A later pattern, but close inspect. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up here? Just working out. Do you know, here's a cool fact about, um, the, um, Haven't seen her. Okay. alien movie that you may not know. Yeah. Um, where obviously John Hurt was the guy who got the alien popped through his chest in the film. Yes. Yeah, the, the other uh, actors weren't told that there was something coming out of his chest. Yep. So that reaction you see in the film is 100% genuine. Real. <laughs> they were all like, what the hell? Of course, John Hurt knew it was coming out. He, yeah. was, he had the prosthetic in his chest, but the others didn't know. So that was a pretty cool reaction. It is. Yeah, it's pretty fantastic. They actually did the same thing just recently in It with all the kids. 
They, oh. they didn't let him, uh, the kids see Bill Skarsgård as Pennywise until the they clown. were in the scene. Yeah. So the first time they ever saw him in costume and everything was in the scene. So the reaction that they had was a genuine reaction of like, holy crap. Okay. Because from the trailers, he is pretty terrifying. Yeah. Did you go and see it last night? I didn't, no. My yeah. mate's got some free tickets for tonight, so... Um, so going tonight? I'm going after work tonight. Hopefully. Cool. Fingers crossed. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Raylan Yutani felt the need to send. She's a lawyer. lawyer. The loss of the lawyers. <laughs> cost the company a lot of money. Kid it's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive action Cereal. Board, it'll look great with my. What? Why is that screen upside down? I'm sorry. That was. It is. That's weird. It's probably for when like we're in zero gravity. It's okay. But. But. but, 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 but Shut up. <laughs> They're all upside down, I'm pretty sure. Yep. He's probably been up for hours. Speak to Lore. To Lore. Thank you, to Lore. <laughs> I will take the scrap. Okay, so I'm assuming because we're collecting scraps, we can like craft make things. craft things and stuff. Okay, cool. Yep. Well, hey. <laughs> Don't want Arigato. Mr. Roboto. Uh, I'm gonna go to the bridge now. Goodness knows where that is. This spacesuits look awesome. Yeah. They kind of got a like a like a Japanese kind of samurai kind of vibe. With yeah. The kind yeah. Of I can. I can. I can see that. Space Asuto. Skurugudu. It's not even close to how we say it. <laughs> I was sneezing. <laughs> I'll press you. <laughs> can't get up there because some dickhead put a bunch of luggage at yep. the bottom of it. We can't walk any faster either. So we're That's just not good. <laughs> well, I mean, at this point. <laughs> oh, you you know what? Maybe point. it is like just, just straight through here. Well, this green. Probably is. Yep. Thing. These are things we should learn. You know, where everyone else went. <laughs> you should have followed the robot. The Hello. Is in very good order for an old M -class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. Very this is the, uh, the the first non scary episode of the, of the thing. I don't know, it's pretty scary. That shit's very. It's very loud. <laughs> All those buttons shine. Should we be listening to what they're saying? They they talk about ship stuff. Like so, I gather like, they've found a ship that they're going to has found. I love how people just don't care when you do things like this in games. You can watch the approach um, monitors. They found the black box from the ship that her mum was in. Yeah, that's right. And they they trying to locate her. Yeah, so that's why she, um, Alice is on this because she's also an engineer, I believe. Oh. Apparently Lee, that's Percy. Personal space. <laughs> what seat is mine? Uh, She's like, hurry up and pick one. God damn it. Oh, there. Really? You're at the back? There's something that came up. Ah. I had to pick up the thing on the files. on the thing. Here we go. That is a cool show. This is us approaching the um Our death. Is that the Nostromo or is that like some Nostromo? That that really big one. No. Sebastopol, Se she said. Damage? This looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. Yeah, this is some kind of space station. The Torrens into that. This is the commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair registration number MSV. Sebastopol. Okay, so that's Sebastopol. Yeah, it's like so the Nostromo, that was Alice's ship? Yeah, no, 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 we're on the Torrens, and the yeah. Nostromo is the ship from the first movie. Which is Alice Ripley, the ship that Alice Ripley was on. Is it Alice? I'm pretty sure, is her name Alice, the mum? No, it's is Al that... isn't it Ellen Ripley? It is Ellen Ripley. Yeah, Ellen. E. e. Yeah. Hello, Close. Where was I getting Alice from? That's weird. Sorry, oh, we, we were thinking that her daughter was called Alice before. Right. But she's called Amanda, so we got the A right in that case. So we'll combine them. A- Ellen. A-L-L-A-N. Okay. Ellen. 
It's a dead. Fair enough. Ellen and Ellen. Oh, we're getting samurai up. I can only keep Us and the lawyer. For 24 hours. Great. Oh, oh, and, the, and the robot. And the robot. Why does he need a space suit? Safe trip. Do you reckon, like, people know he's a robot? Or is it well, like, I mean, the first he, movie he, where, like, they don't know he's a robot? He said before to us that he doesn't need as much sleep with us. Yeah, but that could just be, like, someone being like, it could be. Oh, I don't sleep that much. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if the game expects us to figure out that he's a robot at this point or not. Just shout on me, Taylor. Uh, sorry, Taylor. You're not going to survive this, most likely. Yeah. Samuels, you'll probably survive for a little while, and you'll get killed when we meet the alien. Brilliant. That's 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 my guess. So, how long is this game? Time to. What happened to you? Uh. My God, Ripley. I think it's about the same length as um, Resident Evil. So we're looking about some similar sort of episodes. Oh, um, oh! Everything has gone to crap. Oh crap. But yeah, similar sort of episode length and amount, we're thinking. Um, Caught! Yoink! This is gonna suck. Ow! Who's that? Is that us? That's us. That's us. Samuel! Taylor! Respond! Anybody! They, um, uh, have gone into space. They've gone on a deep space mission. We're just gonna to go. To boldly go where no man has gone before. Or woman and robot. Um, so we're just gonna go into this thing. <laughs> cool. Yep. Here we are. And. Crafty. <laughs> Good that it's still working. Yeah. Yes. Spotted, run, hide, and break a line of sight. The longer you stay hidden, the better chance you have of evading a pursuer. Awesome. Mm. Now the fun starts. We're on uh, the 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 the, the, the Sylvester pole. Yeah, yeah. That that's the one. It's gonna say like something that wasn't Sylvester pole. <laughs> so we knocked ourselves out with that fall. Um, makes sense. I don't think so. Heavy. I don't. I don't think we um, we were asleep for too long, and this is like immediately after. I mean, our our visor is filthy. Look at that. Yeah. Find help. And there can't be that much dust in space. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, let's get out of our spaceship. Spaceship. <laughs> and it's like yeah, white samurais. Okay, now this is probably where it's going to start to get a bit more dodge. Yeah. Well, I think for the first part, it's just going to be us alone. Some things are going to happen. There'll be noises and stuff. Okay. But we won't meet the alien for a little while. So, one of the you might be wondering why it's taken us so long to get this uh, series back up and running. Part of the reason was the game that we knew we wanted to play, there was no official release date. There kind of still isn't. We just know it's coming out at the end of this year, but it hasn't come out yet. So we thought we'd play something else in between. Um, and this is the game that we kind of decided on. We went through a few other ones, like we didn't play them, but we thought about them. Um, and then we fell on this one just because it's meant to be genuinely terrifying and a really fun game to play. So we're excited, but we do have a really good game. Well, hopefully it's a good game uh, coming up once it gets released. Um, yeah, we've both of us are very very excited about that one because it's um, it's a kind of genre that we're both big fans of. So keep watching. Whoa. Oh, that's fire! That's fire! Ah. Um, so we need to get, get out of here. There, there is no wet floor yeah, here. That's there is gonna fire. help. That's gonna help ah. our situation. Right, maybe I can if I can kick the cone onto the fire. Oh no! I'm gonna be playing this game very quickly, aren't I? <laughs> um. Wait, turn around. Do we not go that way? What are they? Ah. I hate games where you can go in the vents. Just saying that. <laughs> yep. That's actually not true. I do that. I remember playing this game. Do you remember playing Riddick? 
Riddick? It's, yeah, you know the Riddick movies? Yeah. When the Chronicles of Riddick movie came out, which was the second one, um, they released the game, which was uh, Riddick Escape from Butcher Bay, which was the prequel to the first movie in game form. Okay. Really fun. I remember playing the demo it's when I got the first ever well. generation of, uh, Maybe. of Xbox. Maybe if we're lucky, since we got rid of all the cones, the alien will stumble into this fire because he won't see that. Oh, hold on, we've got one more warning thing. Yeah, net. Mm. Here we go. Yep. <laughs> so now no one will know that there's any danger here, and so the alien might kill himself. Yep, fair enough. Okay. 100% sound logic. Okay, oh, we've got to, we've got to, we should see what's up here. Alright, so what have we got? Folder corrupted. Shared, decommissioned. So, best of all, is being so it's a decommissioned space station. Okay, so basically, this is him tell the captain or someone corrupted. telling everyone that they're closing down. Basically. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so, so what was that on the what was that on the bench? On the bench over there. The thing was loaded. Yeah. Up. Ah, scrap, scrap. Ah, scrap. Do you want a scrap, bro? Nah, can't script. Ooh, this one's... Ooh! Come on, Cone. Ghost Cone. Ghost uh. Cone. We're not leaving until he, he gets this cone off. Fine, <laughs> whatever. Cone wins this. Whoa! Oh! Oh! You had one job, bro. One uh, job. I should have tested it with the cone. Damn it. Wow. We're about to meet someone, can't we? The so ground. Hell of a lot to no of noise just then. God damn, flares. Damn. This will help. Uh, Q. So Q. Oh. No. No. Accidentally clicked out of it. Okay. Oh yeah. So then yeah, you just mouse over it to select it. And okay, then, and then R to activate. It is the 80s, so flares are currently in style. Is the flare going to run out? Uh, I imagine so. What's that? I, RMB to aim. Yeah, so I can, I can throw oh, I can it. throw them, okay. But I'll just, you know, hold on to it for now. Probably probably a safe idea, yeah. Get on for the old luggage um, conveyor belt thing. No, they're be quite fun to just like sit on a giant conveyor belt or ride around. Okay. <laughs> Great. I disagree. was, but like, like the um, the travelators they have at airports, like those flat. Yeah, um, I know what you're talking things. about. Those are super fast, fun to run on or to walk fast on. That is true. Just feel like you're getting a massive speed boost. Ah, here we go. Strangers will be... No. This Strangers will be swifty. <laughs> Get swifty! Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> so, time right, travel. Um, comes back around. You've just been uh, doing Someone a show been... with me, haven't you? Well, you've been doing the show. Yeah, I, I was... As you guys know from the last series... Um, I was rehearsing for a show. That show has happened now. It's performed, and uh, Time Traveler was our stage manager. I was. I got to tell people to put chairs onto the stage and tell us when it was five minutes until being on stage. Yeah, that's pretty much my job. Yeah. Like, hey, you put that chair on stage. Hey, you get on stage in five minutes. We paid him in chocolate. Yep. Did you? He now has diabetes. He paid me in diabetes. <laughs> Garbage. Hmm. A large duck. Edge, you're not helping. <laughs> so this is like a big model of where we are. Yeah. That's massive. That really worries me how big that that's, is. Yeah. 
I mean, the, the large models terrify me. No, but like, <laughs> if like that's how big the place is that we are. Oh, if that's how big it is, then we're bigger than the space station. So, Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> we'll end it here, and we'll catch you next week when the scary stuff will start for real. Uh, I am going to let my cat out now so he doesn't make weird noises when we're being chased by the scary alien. That's an actual cat. No, it's not a code word for anything. Bye! Yeah, what, what would it be code for? I don't know.